What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about what I did to prepare for my retake. I've had a lot of people ask me questions like, why do you think you failed the first time? What did you do to prepare the second time? And that's what this video is going to address. Oh, doing my dance. Hey, I'm doing my dance. Don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. With respect to failing and retake, I just give you guys some background for those of you who are new. So I had to take my boards to become a certified physician assistant, which I did and I passed. Yay! But that did not happen um, until I failed the first time. You can go look at my other videos of you know me failing the first time and then again, the other video of me passing and just kind of get a little bit more detail on that. <laughs> So my main go-to um, resources was Pants Prep Pearls, the Pants Pan Re uh, like question book that Dwayne also has. I used Rosh Review and I used Kaplan. So I used Pants Prep Pearls as like my main kind of just resource that I would go back to and look through. Um, it's super beat up now and completely highlighted all the way through um, just because when you read it again, obviously you're gonna see things that you weren't, you didn't notice before. And so although, you know, I didn't go through and like do a full review course again, there were things on actual like disease processes and diseases that I looked at before, but I didn't realize that they were their importance, I guess you can say, or just as another sign of me being able to identify that disease process quickly, um, which is kind of what you need to do on the board as well, because you get 60 seconds for each question. So um, sometimes you need to be able to make up time for those questions that may take you a little bit longer. So going over those different disease processes processes again through the use of pants prep pearls really helped out a lot. I went over that, I re-highlighted, um, read that book like morning and night, even on like the weekends, I would read the book obviously after the Sabbath, but I would still read the book and I had a plan set in place. So I knew that I wanted to do as many questions as I could, which I had already done um, the majority of Rosh's questions, which is like over 3000 questions. And I also did all of Kaplan's review questions for their pants, which I think is about 1600. And I did the pants pantry question book that Dwayne has, which has 600 questions. Um, so I knew that I wanted to do that. And I also knew like, I think I should probably take the practice test that NCCPA has on their website because, hey, they're the ones that are making the pants. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to kind of get a better grip of what exactly they were going to ask or how they were going to ask it. So once I failed, I sat down and I came up with a plan. I had three months to study and so I had these weeks planned out and I had it saved in my phone. So each week I would do a test, um, like a big test, like 60 questions or more, depending on if it was the NCCPA test or if it was like a Kaplan or Ross review test that I made. I bought maybe two or three boost exams from Ross review, maybe four actually boost exams from Ross Review and I had them staggered. So like every other week I would do a boost exam from Ross Review. I would do a test from Dwayne's book. And then in the middle, like middle towards the end, maybe a week or two before I had to take my boards, retake my boards, I had the NCCPA practice pants test that first Monday. So I knew that every Monday I would be taking some form of a test and then I would be studying each particular section. So there are like 14 sections um, to study for the pants, but I wanted to go through and dedicate one week to each section. And so that was my plan. And from that, I also made sure that I would do at least at a minimum 50 questions a day. So for me, it was kind of just getting used to taking the questions, seeing the answers, making sure that I can quickly look at things. And then after doing that, 
making sure that now I can go back to Pants Prep Pros and read the areas that I may have been deficient in. And so before I even started that plan also, I made sure that I would lo I looked at the air content areas because they give you a breakdown. So I looked at the content areas of what I was deficient in on my pants. And then I focused on those areas a little bit more than the other areas. So um, I did really, really well in endocrine um, and neuro. And so for that, like I used those last, like I saved those for last because I wanted to ensure that some of the areas that I was a little bit more deficient in, which was like renal, I wanted to make sure that I tackled those first, which really boost um, my score in those areas, which was good. <laughs> So for me, I think what helped and what I did, and obviously it got me to pass, was obviously first and foremost praying, <laughs> but um, apart from that, then making a solid plan. And I made sure like this time around, I did not take the test in the morning. I took it in the afternoon because I was so exhausted. I did not get good sleep the night before my first exam. So I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna wake up. <laughs> when I feel like it, be it nine or 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna run through some really quick notes um, through Pants Prep Pearls. And then I'm going to eat some breakfast slash lunch, brunch, and then go to the test. So I wanted to kind of just have a lazy morning. So I did not take the test early in the morning. I took it in the afternoon um, at midday. And then also I made sure that the night before, I think on the first exam, I was like just running through questions, doing questions, doing questions, doing questions. And I felt like that was to my detriment. I thought like, you know, you should have just been kind of going through Pants for Pearls, going through the book and making sure that you see all of these areas um, and these little small minutia of details that are actually big deals when it comes to picking up on the diseases. And so I did that the night before and the morning of with respect to my retake and I don't know. I mean, I passed, so I feel like it was good for me. And um, I went in there pretty confident, and I was more confident this time around than I was the time before. Um, and partially that's due to all of you guys who've been praying for me, my husband, my mom, um, all of you out there who don't even know me that were praying for me as well. I really appreciate Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, more specific questions about like the test and the retake and that whole process, um, just leave it in the comment section below. If you have any video ideas, leave those in the comment section below as well. Please follow me on Instagram and like this video if you like this video. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.